Hey everybody, this is D Hunter, bringing another action figure review. Today, we're going to look at the PC toys, Men in Black, both Agents J and K. Apparently these are from Men in Black 3, but they're going to look exactly the same as Men in Black 1, Men in Black Suits. This is a third party, unauthorized, unlicensed, 112 scale, cloth soft goods action figure. I didn't even know they made these things. I stumbled across one eBay the other day, looked around, found them for a little bit cheaper, but still pricey. I love me some suited action figures. They're going to have the likeness of Tommy Lee Jones and Will Smith. So let's check out the packaging. As you can see, PC Toys, Men in Black 3. This is going to be J. The back side, Men in Black 3, bunch of credits, no barcode. And the other one is really going to be exactly the same, Men in Black 3, this is Agent K. So no further ado, let's open them up and see what they're about. Alright, now that these figures out of the package, here they are with all their accessories laid out. They come with quite a bit of cool stuff. They both come with a display stand. They both come with six alternate hands, totally eight interchangeable hands. They both have sunglasses. Agent K on the right, it says he comes with a portable gun, atomic pistol, and time and space shuttle gun. Honestly not sure which one is which, but a bunch of alien sci-fi type guns. And then Jay here, he comes with two different versions of the amnesia stick, a space-time shuttle, and an alien device. They also have the dog in black. Now before I look at the accessories, let's talk about and check out these actual figures. I've always wanted figures from Men in Black, and actual good six or seven inch scale figures. I can do a ton with suited figures like this. And then we have the likenesses of Will Smith and Tommy Lee Jones. Almost like it's Deadshot and Harvey Dent in my Batman world. Kinda cool. In this video, we're gonna take a look at each of the figures individually. We'll check out their accessories, height and articulation. And then we'll compare them with a bunch of action figures to see how they fit in both scale and style wise. In case you don't know which lines you can mix them with. So. Let's go ahead and start off with Will Smith's character, Jay. Now before I look at Agent Jay, let's check out Frank the Pug. He's another agent in the Men in Black organization. Little pug with sunglasses, smoking a cigar. He's got a little suit on. You kind of see his little dog penis there. Tail, zero articulation, kind of cool. And then both the figures come to the display stand. It comes in two separate pieces. When put together, it's going to look like this. It's got the base here and a little clamp to hold your figure at the top. They both come with a display stand like this. Now let's proceed to look at Agent J. A total of eight hands, two alien devices, sunglasses, and then two of the amnesia pens. So let's take a look at them. First of all, I'd say the likeness is pretty freaking good. I feel like the hairline maybe is a little too far back. Maybe I'm wrong about that. But boy, the forehead, the eyes, the nose, the lips. It all looks like Will Smith, those giant ass ears. But the best I get the color, I keep trying to fix it and push it up more, but it's just fighting me on that one. Yeah, the tie keeps going to the side. You can easily push that. Black suited body, pants maybe a little bit baggy. Legs feel kind of thin inside of there. The height is not too bad. Seems like maybe just a tiny bit shorter than I'd like, but they're not super small like some of these third party companies. Dress shoes. Like double jointed knees, double jointed elbows, pretty nice. Looks good. Got a couple of government agents to join my action figure world. And just a closer look at his face and head sculpt, it is spot on if you ask me. And here's the figure broken down as far as he can go, with all of his removal parts detached. Maybe it's a bad idea to take the jacket off, but I couldn't help myself. Now let's check out his accessories, and let's start off with his jacket, so we can put him back to the way he's supposed to be. Here's his jacket. Black sports jacket. Kind of smooth on the inside. It's got cloth to material on the outside. Some fake buttons. A little slit in the back there. A couple more buttons in the front. Overall, nothing special, but it is pretty nice. I've seen a little better, but I've seen quite a bit worse too. Here's Agent K, Will Smith, without his jacket on. And here he is with the jacket on. Now let's take a look at his hands. He has a total of eight of them, four right hands and four left hands. Here he is with his first pair of hands. These are his fists. Then with his next pair of hands, these are some open hands. 
They would look good relaxed at his sides. And here's his next pair of hands. These are a pair of gripping hands with the trigger fingers. And keep in mind, this figure doesn't come with any guns. You really need to get both the figures to enjoy them properly. They have accessories that share between the two of them. And here's his final pair of hands. This is a pair of smaller gripping hands to hold his small accessories. Now for his sunglasses. Just a small pair of sunglasses. Nothing special to write home about here. Here's Agent J with no sunglasses. And here he is with the sunglasses attached. Here are his accessories. I can easily tell you what the amnesia pen is. We have the smaller version and the extended version to erase memories. And I couldn't tell you about the other things. Maybe this was not that little galaxy. This is some sort of alien contraption. Pretty cool stuff. His hands can comfortably hold the smallest of his accessories. Here's Will Smith holding that smaller pen. And when he extends the pen and puts the shades on, you know he means business. Now that we've taken a pretty good look at both the figure and his accessories, now let's check out his height from bottom to the top of his head, standing at about 6.2 inches tall, which could translate to just under 16 centimeters, a little shorter than I'd like. And now for his articulation, starting with his head. Head and the neck are one solid piece, can rotate from side to side, forward and back, kind of tilt a little bit from side to side, shoulders on a ball joint, goes out a little bit more than 90 degrees, obstructed by the jacket, up, down, around, all that good stuff. Double jointed elbows that go all the way in, his wrists can rotate, and it's going to be hinged as well. Torso, he's got, feels like a ball joint in there, rotate around, forward and back. Another one is waist, rotate around, forward and back. Legs, they only go out about this far. The pants really obstruct them. I feel like they would go further. Forward about that far, back not much. Feels like we have some kind of rotation in the thigh area. Double jointed knees. Then his ankle here, forward and back, rotate, tilt rock, everything you want in an ankle. And now for Agent K, he comes with a total of eight hands, a pair of sunglasses, he has a time and space shuttle gun, portable gun, and atomic pistol. But first let's take a look at him. Tommy Lee Jones, and I'll tell you, the likeness is spot on. It looks absolutely fantastic. The hair, the eyes, the eyebrows, the forehead, cheeks, they really capture his likeness spot on. A similar outfit as Mr. J there. Black suit, black tie, white shirt, dress shoes. It's probably going to have the exact same articulation and body underneath. So far, so good. And a closer look at his face and head sculpt. Spot on for both of them. Look at that. And then, here's this figure broken down as far as he can go, with all of his removal parts detached. Now for his accessories. Let's start off this jacket. That way it can look the way it's supposed to look. So here's his jacket. This is the exact same as Agent J's. Cloth jacket, fake buttons, a little smoother on the inside. Here's Agent K without the jacket, and here he is with the jacket attached. Now for his hands, he has a total of eight of them, four right hands, four left hands. Here he is with his first pair of hands. These are his fists. Here's his next pair of hands. These are some open hands. They would look good, relax at his sides. And his next pair of hands, these are a pair of grippy hands with a very small grip for the smaller accessories. And here's his final pair of hands, a pair of gripping hands with the trigger fingers for his guns. Now for his sunglasses. Just a pair of sunglasses. The sides are a lot shorter than Jay's. Here's Agent K without the sunglasses. Then, with his sunglasses attached, not so at his guns. He has three of them. The eBay description says one's an atomic pistol, one's a portable gun, and one's a time and space shuttle gun. I don't put too much stock in that eBay listing. Essentially, we've got a smaller sidearm, then a medium gun, and then a larger rifle for them to fight the aliens with. Here he is, holding the smaller sidearm. Then, holding the medium-sized gun. And here he is, holding the largest weapon. And these accessories are not exactly character-specific. Either figure can hold each other's accessories. They're meant to work with either one. Although I personally would have liked to have had two pairs of the amnesia pens. And now starting out his height, just like Agent J. 
He stands at about 6.2 inches tall, which can translate to just under 16 centimeters. And now for his articulation, which is going to be exactly the same as Jay's. They use the same base body, head, rotate, side to side, look up and down. Can't really tilt and rock too much. Shoulders, ball joint goes out way more than 90 degrees. Not nearly as obstructed with the coat as the other guy. Up, down, around, all that good stuff. Bicep cut, double jointed elbows, wrists, rotate, and hinged. Torso, he's got a ball joint, rotate, forward and back. Another one is waist, rotate around, forward and back. Legs, very obstructed by the pants. Forward, about that much. Back, not much. There is some sort of thigh cut. Double jointed knees, and then his ankle. Forward and back, rotate, tilt rock. Here's an image of J and K. They have their guns out, getting ready to erase your memory. They feel pretty powerful taking down aliens like ALF and E.T., but I bet they wouldn't feel so cocky taking on some aliens like this. And this is the exact type of giant alien creature I'd expect the men in black to be defending the Earth from. A little more of an aerial view so you can see what's really going on. Now let's check them out next to some of their action figures. And we'll start off with the other Will Smith and Tommy Lee Jones figures that I have. Here's Agent J next to three different Will Smith as Deadshot figures that I have. The one on the left is Mafex, and then SH Figure Arts, and then Mattel. And here he is, next to a custom Fish Mooney from the TV show Gotham. Fish Mooney was played by his wife, Jada Pinkett Smith. And here he is, next to a Niobe figure. Niobe's from The Matrix, played by Jada Pinkett Smith again. And here's Agent K, next to an older Kenner, Tommy Lee Jones, Two-Face figure from Batman Forever. Now let's check him out, next to some Mezco 112 Collective Cloth Soft Goods figures. Mesco has set the golden standard for 112 scale cloth goods figures. These guys look okay with the Mesco figures. They're maybe just a hair too small, but they look about the same height as the Batman figures. Not too bad. Whenever I get third party unauthorized and licensed figures, I always compare them to Mesco. Do they feel as good as Mesco? Are they at least close? I see these guys feel a little bit inferior to Mesco, but pretty damn close. And here they are, next to several different Mesco Batman villains. And here, with several more different various Mezco figures. Here are these figures, with some Soap Studios 112 scale cloth soft goods figures. Soap Studios also makes the same kind of figure, but they're a lot worse than the Mezco figures. Now let's check them out, next to some other third party unlicensed unauthorized figures that I have. Here they are, next to a Fan Super XC Suit Arkham Origins Batman. Then, next to a Mix Max Deathstroke and Two-Face, and here. Next to an SSR, Night Adventures, Thomas Wayne Batman, and Endgame Joker. Then, next to it, Anton Custom, Robert Pattinson, Bruce Wayne, and a note of studios, Ben Affleck, Bruce Wayne. And here, next to it, AC Play, Robert Pattinson, Bruce Wayne. Then, with a Felix Toys, Joaquin Phoenix Joker. And now, next to a couple of Patriot Studios, Joaquin Phoenix Joker figures. Now let's check them out. Next is some action figures from different various companies to see how they fit in, both scale and style-wise. In case you have no lines you can mix them with. Since they're 6-inch scale, I'm going to start off by comparisons with some of these smaller action figure lines I collect and work my larger. I'm going to include as many suited figures as I can during these comparisons. Here they are. Next is some Jazz Wars Fortnite figures. And here they are. Next is some SH Figure Arts action figures. Here they are. Next to a bottle of Lysol Cleaner. Then... Next is some Hasbro Marvel Legends, and here they are, with some Mafex figures, then with some Mattel DC Universe Classics and Multiverse figures, and here they are, next to some Jazzwares AEW wrestlers, then next to some Mattel WWE wrestlers, and here he is, with some NECA figures, then with some DC Direct and DC Collectibles figures, and here with some McFarlane toys, and now next to some DST or Diamond Select toys, and finally, Next to some Jack specific wrestling figures. Overall, these are some pretty cool figures. I've wanted Men in Black, Will Smith, and Tommy Lee Jones for a long time in the 112 scale, and these did not disappoint. Sure, wish they were a little cheaper, but that's what you get when you're messing with these type of figures. Their articulation is excellent, sculpt and paint job and likeness are fantastic. I think the suit jackets could be a little better, they get bunched up on the shoulders pretty easily. And the collar around with Smith, I just cannot get to look good. Beyond that, their accessories are also fantastic. Although, I would have liked two of 
the amnesia pens, and maybe some more recognizable weapons from the first film. If I rate these guys, I'm going to give them a 7 out of 10. I wish the suit was just a little better, and they were just a little taller. Beyond that, they look amazing. 7.5 is probably low balling them. I'm going to bump that up to a 7.5 right now. Their likeness is just on point. So this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this. If you liked the video, press like below. If you have anything you want to say with the video, add to the comment section. If you want to see additional action figure reviews from me, press subscribe. I do appreciate when you do that. Once again, this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll talk to you guys real soon.